What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 2 of tutorial series on custom domain name with API Gateway, right? So in the previous tutorial, we had provisioned the certificate uh, for our domain or for the custom domain that is srcecd.com in my case. And we had also validated the uh, ownership of that domain uh, using email validation, right? So now in this tutorial, uh, we are going to create this custom domain name, right? So I'm assuming that you already have logged in into AWS Management Console and you are on this screen. So here, uh, click on create custom domain name, right? So here we have to fill in some details. So here uh, you have to select the protocol. So in my case, it's REST, right? And then the domain name uh, with which you want to access the API endpoint, right? So I will say api.srcecde.com, right? So I want to access the API endpoints using this domain name or using this custom domain name, right? Within security policy, I will leave it as it is. Endpoint configuration, in my case, it's regional. So select regional. And here within ACM certificate, it will show you the uh, certificate for srcecd.com so that is something that we have created in the previous tutorial right so select that and say save so now here we have configured the custom domain name right so the status is changed to available and we have this target domain name and few other information right so now uh, once the domain is created right uh, we have to go to domain manager and uh, we have to add the cname record over there right so what we have to do is we have to copy this target domain name so copy this now go to your domain manager so i have registered this domain using godaddy and this is my dns management console probably right so what i have to do is i have to click on add select type as cname now within host, uh, I want to access api.srcecd.com, right? So it's sort of subdomain. So it's API as a host for me. Now, in case if you select, uh, for example, API endpoint, right? So in case if you want to access the API endpoint using www.apiendpoint.srcecd.com, then you have to add API endpoint as a host, right? But I am using api.srcecd.com. So it's going to be API, right? So that's API. And it will point to the target domain name that we have copied, right? So that is this one, the target domain name, right? And that API is referring to this API, right? That is api.srcecd.com. So API as a host within domain manager, right? And it will point to the target domain name. So we had copied this and we had pasted over here, right? And then click on save. Now, once this is saved, it will take some time to reflect. So you will not be able to access api.srcecd.com instantly, right? So it will take some time to reflect, right? So you have to wait for that. Well, uh, I am closing this tutorial over here and probably in the next tutorial, I will show you how to configure base path mapping and how we can bind the API endpoint and the stages with this uh, custom domain name and how we can access it, right? So well, that's it for now. Until that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.